Many of us have welcome mats or signs outside of our homes, but one family had a guest they were never expecting, a nearly 9-foot, 270-pound alligator. WMBF News anchor Lisa Greshi found out it all started with a loud noise at the front door. Julie, how many of us really expect anyone after 11 o'clock on a Sunday night? Well, this family had a monster of a guest, and it all started with a loud bang. So I'm sitting on the stairs, and I'm talking, and then I hear a bump at my door. At first, Shatrina Greenwood thought it was her yellow lab. And I thought maybe she was bumping up against the wall. So I look out my little side window, and I don't see anyone, and then I look down. So I open the door, and I start screaming to my friends, call 911, we have a gator at the door. Like, you guys, get out of here! Oh <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. It was crazy. I went crazy at first, but then I calmed down. 911 directed Katrina to the snake chaser, Russell Cavender. Um, my first thoughts was, that's a big gator. You know, it's, it's a big guy. Shatrina watched as he got to work. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, it, I mean, it, I, I was scared for him because the snake chaser ended up with bleeding. And he, he admitted when he first came there, he said, this thing is chunky and he's going to hurt me. But for him, it's all about the safety of the animal and keeping the situation calm. So I grab it and I try to get it off of the concrete, away from the front door so it doesn't break the glass on the door because sometimes when you grab a gator, they start to fling and flail. And when that happens, you know, that's uh, not a good thing. Though the gator did leave behind some damage from doing just that, he was safely placed in the truck after an hour of coaxing by Cavender. At first, Shatrina wanted the gator dead, but soon had a change of heart. Mm -hmm. Alex Bobby, we <laughs> named him, um, the, the gator, and he became my friend, and then he became Buki and Boo and oh, don't hurt him. Oh. The alligator's in a very safe location, in a very safe place. No one has to worry about that alligator ever again. Shatrina tells me she's never seen a gator in her front yard, never mind her front door, but she's safe and she's happy the gator is, too. Reporting live in the studio, Lisa Greshi, WMBF News.